Hey, what's up, YouTube? Tom Dog back again, bringing you guys another gameplay and commentary. And this time it's a UMP Moab on the map resistance. And I know everybody loves to use them, their MP7 and their ACR and their Type 95. But come on, guys, really explore their guns. There's a lot more guns out there that you could have fun with and not be cheap. Like the UMP. The UMP is actually a really underrated gun. Especially when you get specialist bonus, it's a complete beast. Because you can pretty much shoot anybody up to any range. And even when you have the silencer on. And it's really good with the silencer too. But if you don't like using silencer, the UMP is also excellent with the rapid fire and kick. It's amazing. And this guy right there in the back of their spawn, he was like a level 10 or something like that. And he was just like spinning in circles right there. I don't know what he was doing. He was just like playing with himself in his own spawn. But whatever. Pick up my bonus on him. And I don't know what it is about this map. But I just seem to pick up so many Moabs on this map. I have my most Moabs on this map out of all m maps on Modern Warfare 3. And I think it's just because I know the spawn so good on this map. And I manipulate them so great on this map. I think that's why I get uh, most of my mobs on resistance. But as you can see, uh, some parts of this streak are going to be sped up. Because it was a fairly long gameplay, so I'm going to speed a little. Well, it wasn't that long. But I'm just going to speed a little uh, some of the parts up. In this commentary, as you can see right there, I shoot that guy pretty much across the map. And in this commentary, I'm going to be talking about um, how you really get better at COD. And everybody is going to tell you, oh, to be good at COD and drop Moabs and double Moabs and stuff like that, you have to, you know, just play, um, get better by playing and have great aim, have great accuracy on a high on a higher sensitivity so you could turn on kids and swap targets really quickly and that is part of it and being smart also being smart and having good accuracy and just having good aim that is part of it being good at the game that's part of it but most of being good at cod is your connection <laughs> excuse me yeah but most of being good at cod is your connection and gets to a point where everybody's gonna have good aim everyone's gonna have good accuracy and be playing on a higher sensitivity everybody's gonna be able to turn on people everybody's gonna be able to do all that good stuff that a good cod player can do but when it comes down to it well there are gonna be some newbies that are just new at the game but for all the people that have been playing since like cod 5 or cod 4 or something like that you know, they're all going to be good like that. I mean, when it comes down to it, it's your connection. And you can be so good at the game, but if you have a bad connection, and you're on a 3 bar or whatever, and the guy you're going up to has a perfect 4 bar, and you start shooting at first, and you don't miss one bullet, even if you have a submachine gun, I've been taken down by, like, an assault rifle with a slower fire rate from close range when I start shooting first, because he kills me when he has a 4 bar. And I call that, he just four barred me. So, as you guys know, I was supposed to switch a while ago to, um, wired, I mean cable connection, which is, uh, time one of cable, for, cause if you guys didn't know, that's a lot quicker than DSL connection, which is what I have now. And Frontier is the worst for DLC, DSL connection, and... DSL is automatically worse or slower than cable to begin with. And um, Time Warner is actually like a higher end cable, so it should be really good when I get it. But they're being really annoying, and they were supposed to come last Thursday. And they said, you know, we have to go underground, so we have to come back another day. We have to get the survey crew out here to map out how we're going to do this. And I understand that. But it's like two weeks later, and they're like, my dad keeps on calling them like, what's going on are you coming and they're like we'll get back to you and we're gonna come sooner or later and man are they slow like they're just like taking advantage of their customers because they know how good they are right now like seriously but i'm about to pick up the moab soon and 
So in this game, connection is greater than being good at COD. You have to have a good connection to be great at COD. And there's the mold. And we picked up like one kill with an M4, so. A UMP Moab. And. Yeah. I'm just gonna get a few more kills before I go run to the back and call on my Moab. And I could have actually had a really long streak on this streak. And this guy tries to knife me through the wall, but he couldn't do it. So, yeah, I could have kept on going really long on the streak, but it just came down to I ran out of ammo completely. And that's how I died at the end. But I'm not going to even show that part, because I was shooting at some guy with M4. And I didn't realize it, but I ran out of ammo with one more bullet to kill him. And then he ended up killing me. So I'm just going to cut it off right here. And I'm Tom Dog, guys. I'm out. Peace.